Need a tech makeover? With HotHardware.com, made possible by Intel. Hi, I'm Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com. And I'm Marco Cipetta for HotHardware.com. And we're back with the third and final installment of our Intel Need a Tech Makeover contest. If you missed our first two videos, be sure and check them out at HotHardware.com and the Need a Tech Makeover website. Right on, we have our third final lucky winner today. Her name is Susan Gibbs from Martha's Vineyard Fiber Farm, an active producer of yarn, fleece, and other woolen products. We hooked Susan up with some hot Intel hardware. What do you say we go check it out? Let's go hang with the sheep. <laughs> so we're here at our third winner for the Intel Need a Tech Makeover contest. Our uh, winner, MV Fiber Farm, which stands for Martha's Vineyard Fiber Farm. And, although we're not in Martha's Vineyard, are we? No, no. We're in New York, and we'll explain that in a minute. But this is Susan Gibbs and uh, Harry. Uh, Harry is our stepson, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have that right? And uh, so Susan is a shepherd, if you can believe that. Um, but uh, she's our third winner for the Intel Nita Tech Makeover. And uh, Susan, so what brings you here to New York when you were in Martha's Vineyard? Um, we had. 65 animals in Martha's Vineyard and we only had a small amount of land so we needed to in order to expand our business we needed more land and we owned a farm down here so we're actually this is gonna be our second farm we'll still have animals in Martha's Vineyard and then we'll have animals here in Hudson Valley and we're in Hopewell Junction New York it's like right out of a novel somewhere beautiful place by the way and uh, so you've been doing farming all your life, or where did no, we begin? No, not at all. I was a producer for CBS News um, for 10 years. Plant, go ahead. And I got um, really burned out, and I just wanted to do something sort of more, I don't know, sort of more physical and more real. Um, and I uh, was in a bookstore, and I saw a book about sheep, and I thought, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And a year later, I bought four sheep. Cool, cool, cool. So very different from uh, producing, but uh, now you're, you're tending yeah. Mother Earth and, and her animals, and that's great. Um, and what about the model? You, you mentioned there was um, uh, a certain way you do business here at the farm with the sheep and your clients. How does oh, that work? Oh, sure. We, um, we started the first CSA for um, yarn and fiber. CSA. Yeah, Community Supported Agriculture. Cool. Acronym. So people buy a share of our farm. They buy a share of our yarn harvest a year in advance. And then all year long they get to watch the animals. We have a blog and we put up lots of pictures and lots of stories about the animals. They get to know them, they come visit. And then we have a big party for the shearing. Um, and they come and then we send all the yarn off to be processed and it comes and we divide it up among the shareholders and off it goes. How oh, cool, very nice, very nice. So you're a visitor, a regular visitor of the uh, Mighty Girl website, right? Oh, absolutely, every and day. That's how you heard about Intel's Need to Tech Makeover, and now you're a fan of on Hardware.com too, right? I am, right? I go every day, exactly. <laughs> I went to see what you guys look like. Cool, well, yeah, now you know what we look like, and pretty soon we're gonna go see what the sheep look like. So can you show us around? Yeah, sure. Cool, let's do it. Hey, buddy. A view from the sheep hut. What do you call that? Is that a sheep hut? It Couldn't is. be that. Yeah, it is. It's a little, just a little shelter. <laughs> I was looking for an official farm name, Susan. Um, technically, it's a calf hutch. A what? It's a calf hutch. Calf hutch. Calf hutch. Mm -hmm. Got it. For Thank calf. you. Buster and Cosmo. Hey, the big sheep of the herd. Ooh. All yeah. the babies were named after herbs and spices this year. <laughs> A day on the farm. Here we have the before, Susan's nerve center, MacBook and gourds, and telephone. Yeah, that's that's pretty high tech. Go bring him toys. <laughs> so we have all your goodies out on the table here, Susan. We have a brand new 2.53 gigahertz Mac Pro, one of the all aluminum ones. We hope you like that. We have a brand new HP Centrino 2 based pavilion notebook with four gigs of RAM. Another really nice machine. Actually, I really love that machine. We have a case for you, so you can take either one wherever you want. We have a nice D-Link 802.11n wireless router. And this is a really cool accessory, a wireless webcam, so we can show the animals to your clients over the web. We'll get that set up for you. That's great. We also got you some extra storage with a one terabyte external hard drive here. And a HP wireless printer, scanner, copier. Should take care of all your needs. We hope you like it. Oh, I love it. Great. So we're setting up the HP Pavilion, Centrino 2 based machine here. Susan at the epitome of multitasking here. Setting up a Mac and a notebook at the same time. Hey, that's our job. I'm gonna shoot Aaron here, who's uh, our one PC person. <laughs> Checking out the uh, HP notebook.
Centrino 2 HP notebook, of course. Checking out the webcam, which is now functioning properly, and there's Susan on her MacBook through a PC. <laughs> How are you? The new Nerf Center. 802.11n wireless router, HP Wi-Fi enabled printer, and the old cable modem still providing the bandwidth. Thanks for the tech makeover, Intel.